Hey, hey, Julie Burke here, coming to you live from my home office in Chicago, well, suburbs of Chicago. Anyways, um, let me know if you can hear me as you're tuning in. Quick success tip of the day. I got to keep this nice, short, and sweet because I'm going to the pool with the boys. And I'm not, well, it says I work out a latte, but I'm going to have um, a drink because <laughs> it's Friday. Um, anyways. I hope everyone is having an awesome day. I'm simulcasting again. So hello to all of my friends out there on my personal page. Hello to all of my friends on my fan page. Um, welcome. And I just want to make sure that this is live. So one second. I'm just going to check my personal page. I just wanted. Oh, nope. See, not live on my personal page. So give me one second. Sorry, guys. So you always got to check, right? We always have to check. I'm going to finish this. One thing that I always have to make sure of. So when you simulcast, you guys, because I've been having, I've been having people ask me, how do you simulcast? Do you guys know how? Okay, let me, first of all, you have to make sure it's public and not only me. <laughs> so I have it on only me. Oh my gosh. Hold on, let me let me rotate. Let me try this again. Take two. All right, all right. Let me come back to you guys over here on my fan page. Where are you? Uh, 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 uh. Okay. I don't know if I'm still live over here. Hello. Hold on, one second. Having issues, complications. I don't think I'm live. Hmm. Hold on. Let me try this again. I want to try this again, guys. I don't know what is going on. Okay, it says I'm live, but I can't find like my live. This is crazy. How funny is that? Wait. Oh, there we are. Holy cow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, epic fail, epic fail on this Friday for Facebook Live. This is what I'm trying to do, two things at once, but I got it, I got it. All right, so hello to all of you on my personal page, hello all of you to all of you on my fan page. Real quick, talking network marketing etiquette today. So how many of you are in network marketing? If you are in network marketing, drop me a one. As you do that, welcome to my page. If you have yet to like my page, please go ahead and smash the like button and the C first, okay, to follow as because well, I do multiple trainings here. I mean, you could go to my video library on my fan page, and I have over 300, 300 Facebook Live trainings over on my fan page. Those of you on my personal page, if you have yet to come to my Create Success with Julie fan page, um, it's right on my profile, very top thing. It says, Follow me on my fan page, and you just got to click that link and then head over to my fan page. I could also put the link in um, the comments when I'm done. Anyways, if you're new to me, just put hashtag um, new because I always like to say hello and give you a free gift. I have many, many free resources, so I'd love to help you out there. But if, um, like I said, if you're new to me, what I do is I specialize in helping entrepreneurs and network marketers to bring their business online so they can ignite their income. Okay, do you like that? Ignite your income and leverage your time. So it's doing it without sacrificing your time, your family, sacrificing anything. Literally, I teach you how to build your business from anywhere, any place, right? Any, any place, anywhere, anytime. All right, so today we're talking network marketing ed etiquette. So I'm getting a lot of ones. Hello, 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 everybody. All right. So you want to keep it happy. You want to keep it positive, okay? Um, you want to just make sure that you are keeping it drama-free. No bashing. I don't talk about religion, and I definitely don't talk about politics. Now, you could run your social media channel any way you want, doing a live, but we're going. Ugh, you guys. Can school please come back into session? No. Ah, oh, it's been a day. Okay, we're going soon. Uh, we're going to the pool. We're going to go to the pool. Just give me a few minutes. Just a few minutes. Wanna go sit in your room? Okay. 
I'm back, parents. This is why I need a. Oh my lord, these two. A backup. A backup. No, I need a drink. All right, here we go. Back to etiquette. A margarita. A jalapeno. Look at my seven-year-old says you need a margarita. He knows me. If you know me, I am the jalapeno margarita mama. Oh my gosh, they're gonna call like a service on me. I'm teaching my kids. All right, go 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 go. Where's your brother? In the car. In the car? Oh my god, I'm coming. Okay, they're in the car. So, um, what am I talking about? Okay, here we go. Tip number one: keep it happy, keep it positive, right? There's no drama. Just don't be the you know. No, I'm the no drama mama. I cannot stand drama. Okay, number two. Bashing, do not bash, do not put down another company. As angry as I was last year with the separation from my last company, I still would never publicly bash that company. I don't ever want to burn bridges and I don't ever like want to upset people that I love that are still there. So just don't do it, okay? A lot of us have probably experienced companies more than once. Now, my divorce from my last company was not expected. It just happened after five years. Sometimes we just can't, we just don't know, right? You never know. I'm very happy. I'm very blessed where I'm at. So no bashing. Okay. No, number three, tip number three, do not bash jobs. There are a lot of people out there. I have a client right now who makes seven figures a year. She's amazing. She does network marketing, but she loves her job. She just wants to retire early. So I don't sit here and bash corporate America and, and, and make them feel bad that they have to go to work, you guys, okay? So please don't bash jobs because people need jobs. I mean, I've been there and I've done that. What's up, Angela? How are you, sweetheart? Um, absolutely share this out, you guys. If you share, put hashtag share. I love coming in and popping in and doing... Um, like incentives where I'll just pick, if you share and you put share in the comments or I see you tagging your teammates, guess what? Julie will pick you out, raffle you out and to give you a 20 minute coaching call. So if you'd like a 20 minute free coaching call with me, do it, share, share away. I love sharing. Sharing is caring. Um, so we're talking network marketing etiquette. So number one, keep it happy, keep it light, drama free, right? Number two, bashing. Don't bash other network marketing companies. Number three, don't bash jobs. Number four, be yourself. Because if you're not yourself, guess what? People will see right through you. Okay. And I'm talking about be yourself online and offline. I don't know who else to be, but be myself. I'm just, you guys just saw me with my son, right? I mean, yeah. So my kids know my favorite drink is a jalapeno margarita. Like it is what it is. And so I have a foul mouth, right? Like it's just who I am. I I can't even apologize for it because it's all I know. I'm Italian. Um, I can be impatient. I, I mean, I have all these qualities, but I had to learn to love my qualities and be myself and not try and act like somebody else. Um, I'm no fluff. I can't stand beating around the bush. Like, let's get right to it. It's just who it's my type A personality. All right. So that's me. So who are you? You need to show up like you every single day. People will very, very quickly get a vibe and discover who you are or who you're not, okay? Number five, don't exaggerate, ever. Don't exaggerate your income, don't exaggerate your title, your rank, I mean, none of it, okay? Um, it seriously takes time to build a network marketing business. Am I right? It takes time, you guys, it takes time, it takes effort. So be, uh, be reputable. Just be, a, a, just do not exaggerate. I, just, I don't know what else to say about that. Just don't do it. Number six, um, struggles. <laughs> okay. So when we have struggles in this business, sometimes people want to verbally make excuses to the entire team. Sometimes people want to verbally um, be the Debbie Downer. Sometimes people are jealous. Whatever it is, please don't publicize it through the whole team. If you have to, have that one person, okay? And usually, typically, it should be up and not down, not in your downline. 
right? That putting it in a downline is like spreading a disease. All of us have bad days. All of us. So if you are, just go to your upline, talk to them about it. Chances are you'll feel much better, you guys. Thank you for sharing, everyone. I really, really appreciate it. Okay. Uh, yeah, because we're talking proper etiquette. People need to know this in the network marketing profession because this is a profession. And I'm giving you the goods here because this is everything that I know to be true that has helped me to grow a really profitable, strong team and business. All right. Okay, number seven, rating. It's unkind and it's unclassy. Listen, yes, of course, we all want to attract network marketers to our team, but let's do it in a good way of attraction marketing. Do not go into a, somebody's inbox and purposely like just extract and poach, okay? Like don't go in someone's team and purposely poach, okay? Yes, I have a lot of network marketers that join me, but they're unhappy. That's why. They are totally, completely unhappy, stressed out, not seeing results, unfulfilled, and they want a change. And they come to me because I use attraction marketing and I'm branding myself. So do not raid other people's teams, all right? And then last but not least, last, last but not least, because I, I got to get going, I got to go to the pool, um, very hot here in Chicago. I think our heat index is 115 today. All right. No, I need one. Hey, Mommy, where's my, uh, where's my northern name? That half is a black one because it has my ball in there, or Mexico. In the laundry room. In the, in the laundry room. Honey, in the floor in the laundry room. Just let me finish. I'm almost done. Okay, um, and no swooping in. Number, tip number eight. No swooping in like vultures when people are pained because their company shut down. I've seen it happen. I have never done this. There was closings of, um, oh my gosh, a couple companies in the past year. And like, honestly, I had friends in that company. I didn't even talk to them about my network marketing thing. I, I just couldn't. But they're like, Julie, there are some people out there and it's just crazy how they don't even give us a second. And you guys, it's painful when a company closes, right? It's painful. And so you got to give these people um, time to heal. Like you don't just swoop in and be like, hey, so sorry about your, your gig. You want to join mine? Like, no, that's not proper etiquette. Um, another thing is spamming. My gosh, I had literally a message come into my inbox last night. I have no clue who this man is. And just was like, you look like a really sharp person. Da, 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 da. Like the whole script. And honestly, I just responded and I said, please do not spam me again. Like that's it. So I'm just going to throw that extra one in there about spammy because we just don't do it, guys. It's just this is profession. You guys, I really feel that network marketing is the wave of the future. And as if you're a network marketer, I'm sure you do too. So there's a certain way to do this business and a certain way not to do this business. And being a vulture is absolutely not the way to do this business. Okay? So listen, you guys, I got to run. I hope you, this was all great tips. If you haven't visited my website yet, createsuccesswithjulie.com. Go there. I'm also working out my membership. Um, I was going to call it the Success Academy, but but I think I'm loving the Brand Masters Academy for female entrepreneurs that are looking to brand their business online, their business and their brilliance online. What do you guys think about that? Do you like it? If you like it, Brand Masters Academy, I want you to give me a thumbs up or I'm trying to think of a different word. So like right now, anyone that has ever purchased my courses, I have a private group for them and it's called Success, Success Junkies Club. And they loved it when I changed the name. So I'm thinking for my monthly membership, it might be, and I hate, I hate saying monthly membership, you guys, because it's, it's going to be freaking off the charts. I'm just going to tell you guys right now what I'm planning on doing, but um, I don't know if I want to call it the Academy, like Brand Master Society. I, I don't even know. So if you guys have, I love your guys' ideas. So if you have any ideas for the name, please let me know. Um, but if you're liking Brand Masters Academy, and it's uh, for the modern fempreneur. Do you like that? The modern fempreneur who wants to brand their, their business and their brilliance online. Cool? All right. 
I'm going to leave it there. Everyone, have an awesome Friday. I'm going to go have a cocktail and go to the pool and uh, just enjoy this really freaking hot day. So <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Uh, thanks for the hearts, guys. Over here on my fan page, where are you? Uh, 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 uh. Okay.